Hello Taurus, welcome to your 2024 tarot reading. I'm Mr. Ken, your host. And yes, I am back! Can we have a one round of applause? Okay, where have I been since June? I've been over on Divine Pathways Tarot. Go check it out. In August, I changed my format over there to mostly true crime. Been doing a lot of coverage of the Idaho Four. The four students that were brutally unalived in their um, home. Uh, and, you know, there are four students, four college students. Um, a lot of coverage on that over there. Boy, is it revealing. Anyhow, that's what I've been doing. If you're into true crime, world news, predictions, snooping on the royals, or maybe some other celebrities that I'm going to add to that list. Okay. But, yeah. And I'm trying to breathe new life into this channel. Right here. Starting with nine because I want to start this off for the new year, right? But I gotta get the new year readings out before the new year starts. So, this is your 2024 tarot reading. And then I will be doing monthlies. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And feel free to comment below. And let's just dig in. Okay, what do we ha have for Taurus? Ooh, sorry. That even ringed in my ear. One of these days, I might have to go live on here and do a chat. What has Mystic Jen been up to? For those who have not followed me over at On Divine Pathways Tarot. Okay, you've got family. Beautiful. Family-oriented. Um, some of you may even be growing your family in this coming year. Just saying. But family ties for Taurus. And this is typical Taurus energy. Typical. Your security. Home. Very, very Taurian energy. Okay. Chills. Ooh. Okay. This could be a wake up call. And you're and there's something coming to your awareness. This could be a warning, but there's a chill in the, in the air. Okay. If for those of you before you ask, this is the um Season, from the Seasons of the Witch series. There's four different decks from that series. This is the Yule for winter time. I plan on getting the other three decks for all seasons. But this is Christmas time, so in December I'm featuring this. This deck, deck could actually be used year round, but you, you know what I mean. Okay, your third card is Poinsettia. Okay. The poinsettia is shadow work. Um, and it also brings about transformation. There's very scorpionic energy. And so I feel like what this is kind of telling me is that there seems to be a transformation in regards to family, family members. It might be a little bit chilly. I feel, uh, uh, I feel like the energy of the Five of Pentacles here, as in out in the cold. Uh, so uh, there might be changes and transformations going on within your family unit, within your home in 2024. Okay. And there's my mascot, Luna. You guys have seen her before, but not very often on this channel. She's in 80% of my videos 
on my other channel because she's usually sitting on my shoulder. She's kind of back there, but she loves the true crime stuff. Um, yeah, you never, and that's a new addition, the kitty tree back there. A lot of new stuff going on with me. Yep. So let's just kind of take a look. What do we got going on here? I do do a daily draw, daily reading on my other channel. I am not bringing that over here at yet. We will see in the future, in 2024, if I'll bring the daily readings over. But right now, they're staying over on the other channel. And this is just going to be cycling through the Zodiac readings, pretty much. Ah, one right after the other, right? Okay. Show me Taurus, please. Show me Taurus. What is Taurus dealing with? And I just got uh, an intuitive hit that I call them now. An intuitive hit when I was looking at this poinsettia. Some of you, and this is going to be a confirmation. This is not going to be for everybody. But some of you, the poinsettia reminds you of someone on the other side. Someone on the other side, maybe they gifted you a poinsettia every year. Or they loved poinsettias or something like that. But the point set it itself is meant to be some kind of confirmation for you. Okay, show me Taurus. Okay. Okay. What is your theme? Oh. Seven of Pentacles. You're thinking about something, something. Yeah, you're thinking about something. Seeds that have been planted. A certain waiting. Um, Aries just had this, but they had it in the past. That their waiting was over. As you're going into 2023, 24, there's something that you have been waiting on. Okay. What has Taurus been waiting on? I want to clarify that. What has Taurus been waiting on? Just an extra card. Nine of Cups. You've been waiting on a wish. There is a certain desire that if you have been hoping would come out, would come to fruition. And as of the beginning of the year, it hasn't. Let's see what your blockage could be. What is the blockage of this which causing this weight for swords something needing to be healed or something needing to be considered um, there's a timeout so it feels like this is just saying there's a delay in you getting what you want okay Let's do another shuffle and cut the deck again. Okay. What is the circumstances or the influences that's influencing this delay? What's What are some influences? Four of Pentacles. Guarded. Protected. Uh, <clears throat> holding on. Holding on to something here. There's something that feels like needs to be released. There's a lot of stagnated energy here. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords. That's stagnation. That's stuck energy. 
What is the root cause? I will do clarifying in a moment. The root cause is work, eight of pentacles, learning, this could even be learning a new trade, but there's something that you have, you've been, this is almost like being preoccupied. Um, something, this feels like something that you have been working on that you may need to change. It's like, what I'm getting is a certain desired result. And with the pentacles here, with three of them, with um, three out of five cards being pentacles, I would say it's security. And with the family card here, home security, security for the family, financial security, okay? Um, that kind of, that's what is kind of, this energy is reminding me of or making me think of. And so it feels like, you know, it's like some of you might even be in a Rob Peter to pay Paul situation. Some of you are really saving. Maybe you're saving for retirement and any kind of desires, wishes you're putting on hold. Um, there's a couple different scenarios. I will do clarifying probably. What is leaving is a certain situation here with the Four of Wands. Um, the Four of Wands, it's a celebrating, it's family, it's relationship. So, the plot thickens. Some of you may have been putting a hell of a lot of work into a certain relationship. And in typical Taurian style, when you start working on something, you want to see it to the end. <clears throat> so you hold on to it. You keep working at it, working at it, working at it. And you keep on waiting for the end, your desired end result. You keep on hoping that maybe something will heal. You keep hoping for a sense of peace. I'm willing to bet there's a lot of tension. Yeah, there's tension. Damn, the chills. There is tension. Surrounding the home. And it threatens your foundations and your security. And, oh, hell no, do you, do you threaten Taurus's security? Mm-mm. And just like the bull, the stubbornness, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving this up. Taurus is saying, no, 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 no. But that is the very thing that's influencing what is the blockages of what's holding you back there needs to be a transformation a change i know i see my taurians out there cringing at the word change but sometimes we have to sometimes when something is not working the universe is going to say change and i'm almost feeling i'm so, I will be surprised if the tower does not make its appearance because I'm almost feeling like a shakeup in 2024 for you guys that will put you in alignment to where the path in which you are meant to be on. Sometimes, and, and Taurus, you're, you guys are good for this. And I'm not, I'm not downing you because I admire your determination and your stamina and your sense of ethics and work ethics. And when you put your mind to something and you're working on it, it's it's like I'm, I'm steaming ahead. And you come over one block after another block after another block. Some of them you overcome and you bash right through them. But why are there so many blocks? That the universe is trying to tell you, stop, stop, stop. And when we don't stop and we keep persisting, we dig ourselves in a hole, we get stuck, 
and the universe is going to bring about radical change. Okay, let's see what's coming up at the six-month mark. Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is relationship. It could be something new. Um, could it be renewal? It could be. Or is it something new? There seems to be, like, it's, it's just kind of funny. It's like, Taurus, are you jumping cups? I'm just, uh, I'm just curious. This almost feels like jumping cups, actually. Because you're going from one relationship to another. That's what this is. And I think you need to take a break. A little bit of a time out. But Taurus does not do well. Most Taurians. Of course, it, it depends on the rest of your chart. But a lot of Taurus, they don't do well on their own. They, they like the companionship. But I do see a relationship come the six-month period. That's what, June? Midway through the year? Late June, early July-ish? You know, there's there's a two cups here. Okay. What is your perspective? How, you know, how are you reflecting in this? Um, how are you, uh, you know, I don't know what to do, two of pentacles. That's a sense of confusion. I don't know what the right decision is here. So you're kind of looking at this now as in, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what to do with this energy. I don't know what to do with the chill in the house. I could crank the heat up to 90 and it's cold. You know, it's the, there seems to be a lack of togetherness and something needs to transform to change that. So, but I do see a transformation happening, but there's, you got some shadow work, some healing that needs to be done here to prepare you for that new connection. And I feel, because the Two of Cups, it's not that deep connection. This is my cup and this is your cup, and you exchange cups with somebody. It's a relationship. It's beginning stages. Ace of Cups is that little warm feeling. Um, the first um, indication that there might be love somewhere. Okay, and then you bring your... And, and, the, and the Ace of Cups spills over and splits off into two cups. Okay, and that's where the you start to fall in love at the Ace. The two is the next step. Okay, we are an established couple. But it's fresh and new. Okay. And it is a choice. And there's definitely a decision here that it feels like a decision you don't want to have to make. Um, now, keep in mind, this new relationship, that's up to you, honey. You've got free will. This is just as of when this reading is being recorded. This is just a current energy where it has potential. Okay? And external influences is a page of cups. This tells me you're on the receiving end of flirtatious messages, love messages. You're on the receiving end of somebody um, opening up their heart. And no, I'm not ruling out that it's this person. Whoever you're in the connection with in what is leaving, you know, it could simply be meaning you guys are separating and taking a time out to try to regroup and try to heal something. And yes, this could be healing that relationship. <coughs> That's for some of you, you're going that route. 
others this is this is something new and this feels brand new especially with the page page is new energy and an external influence is that is leading you down a new romantic or new emotional path or spiritual but there's an opening up okay this is like I feel like and with that decision do I let that fish go or do I keep it and I think that's part of I think this is somebody new in your environment and you're not sure if you should throw that fish back or if you should keep that fish and and this it could be very well referring to this between this and something new okay what do you need to do to resolve this issue advice who got the oh Aries got the ten of swords in the same exact place some of you might be dealing with an Aries okay you might have been dealing with an Aries um, you might want to go and watch their reading and see how it relates to yours you might have to flip the roles but kind of see how it relates to you um, but this ten of swords is what's done is done and it's time to heal there is a this could be simply if it's meant to end let it go this is you've been down long enough it's time to pick yourself up again it's time to heal any kind of wounding that was in I, I want to say you got to start healing yourself that's why this shadow work came in the shadow work is very individual it's very a solo act it is something that goes on within you you can't do shadow work for somebody else you do it for yourself the shadow work is addressing fear addressing pain acknowledging it and not just and I'm not saying pointing the finger either shadow work is not putting the finger at somebody else it's pointing the finger back at you how did I contribute to the downfall of this past relationship what have I learned from it moving forward so I don't repeat that lesson again that's the whole purpose of shadow work it forces you to face the things you don't want to do and I know Taurus doesn't like that kind of energy but so that you can grow and be successful moving forward the shadow work needs to be done okay because what is up ahead by the end of the year is a rejection of a cup four cups melancholy that four cups is like speaking like I'm not happy why is that coming up here I feel it's coming up because the Taurus that I'm speaking to is looking at the monitor right now if you're still even watching you're shaking your head and you're saying you're shaking your hands and you're like I don't want to change anything I want to heal this relationship and you're you're you're, you're looking at me and like saying um, I don't have any shadow work to do there's a so whoever there's somebody out there that's denying right now is in denial and we do have 
How many fours do we have? We have the four of swords, we have the four of pentacles, and the four of cups. And the four of wands. We have all fours in this reading right now. You know what the four fours is screaming? It is screaming stuck. Stagnation. Four times four is 16. Card 16 in the tarot is the tower. There's the tower energy, even though it's not on the board. Adding those fours up gives you 16, gives you the tower card. Taurus, you need to shake some shit up. Shit in your life needs to be shaken up. Internally needs to be shaken up. And you're saying, I want this cup. Why can't this cup pass me by? It's not going to pass you by because there are some lessons that you need to learn that you haven't learned yet. And, and I'm hearing peep, peep, repeat. Which is saying, this is a lesson that you've gone through over and over and over again. I'm not just talking about past lives, honey. I'm talking about this lifetime that we're in right now. There's a lesson that you've gone over and over and over again. And I say all this with love so that you don't have to do this again. Do the, do the work. Do the shadow work so you don't have to go through this bullshit again. Heal that aspect of yourself. There is something that you need to learn, and it is you, not them, <clears throat> not that one, that one, that one, or that one. It's right here. It's you. Okay? What you have to ask yourself that question, what have I done to contribute to the failure of this? What lesson am I learning from this? And I'm not talking about if you're if you're going to say, well, I'm just not going to, I'm going to shut myself off from love. I'm not going to love anybody. That's not a lesson. That's going to be another lesson that you're adding on top of it. It's not about closing yourself off. It's about healing and opening up to the real thing. What actions can you take in your next relationship? And I always pull, pull two extra cards on the ending. Um, King of Wands. Uh-huh. I'm not surprised I see the King of Wands. And that's, oh, that's Leo energy. And Temperance. The healing. The balance. Honey. You know what this, what, um, this is screaming to me? Sometimes the King of Wands, I heard another reader refer to him as the Burger King. I want to have it my way. The King of Wands wants things his way. Okay? And very passionate about what he wants. And that's you, Taurus. You're passionate about what you want. You want things your way to the point that you're not recognizing what is good for you. And the Temperance card here is being patient with yourself and healing that aspect of yourself. And I will say that yes, past experiences in relationships that you have probably done all the work in, maybe that's part of the lesson. You need to find somebody that you're evenly yoked with. Somebody who's willing to put in the same amount of work as you. Um, the Taurus I'm talking to has a tendency to attract projects as life partners. Just saying. Okay, just saying. And I, and I think there's some changes that you need to make there. So, I really want to know more about this Two of Cups. That's showing up at the six-month mark. 
Hermit. Could be a Virgo. But it's somebody why? Oh, it's somebody who is there to help you and shed light and help you grow and, and, and as a guide. Somebody serving as a guide. So this is telling me this may not be a romantic partner coming in. This could be somebody that is coming in to guide judgment. Okay. There seems to be some inner work here in order to try to reconcile a situation and try to repair it. But there is a decision that is going to require a lot of wisdom. And you might be seeking outside wisdom. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And we've got the fool. So what I'm getting here, especially with this two of pentacles, is a decision that you are taking a decision about relationships. This may not even be. I mean, you might have the potential. I'm not saying you're not. But this is a partnership. That has some emotional weight to it. Doesn't mean it's always, that it is a romantic. Maybe that's a friendship. Maybe that's a friend that you have a very deep emotional bond with. But whatever the case is, it feels like Whoever is in this with you is there to be a guide. To help you make the right choice for yourself. And it feels like needing to choose a new journey or the old. Do I fix and try to reconcile the old? Is it fixable? These are questions that when you do your shadow work, that you've got to be asking yourself, is that fixable? Is this fixable? Or do I need to just let it end so that I can heal, heal that, and learn my lessons? And move forward into a new chapter. That's what I see is going on with you, Taurus. And a lot of this is happening by the six-month period. Like I said, this is this reading is what is going to be play the, be a major player in 2024. It's not everything that's going to happen in 2024. Time is subjective, it's fluid as well. And you have the power to change your, this timeline. Okay, let me say that too. And instead of one of these other decks that I already had out, there's another deck I'm going to pull out. Because this is screaming shadow, shadow, shadow. And it's screaming shadow work uh, the black mirror oracle uh, the black mirror oracle is shadow work okay let's see what is it it's lurking in the shadows let's take a closer look on what it is for taurus what is this shadow work about what is this shadow work What is this shadow work for Taurus? Okay, you got number um, 14. Hiding your true self. I think that what I'm picking up from that card is you're not being your true self because you're trying to be a people pleaser. You're trying to please somebody else. Intuitive hit, folks. That's my word now. Has been for months now. 
Go watch some of my readings on my true crime. Intuitive hit, honey. You have not been your true to yourself, your true self. Because you're trying to please someone else here. Because you're trying to hold together a situation. Because you're afraid of that rejection. They'll reject my cup if I'm, a, if I'm my true self. So fucking what? If they can't love you for who you are, they're not worth it. They're not worth... Uh, they don't deserve your presence in their life. Okay. I'm going to get another one of these. Naked before the stars. Bearing your soul. Getting back to basics. Getting, again, that is another card indicating getting back to being you. The beautiful you. Getting on your path. Your true path. You being your true self here sets you in the right direction. And puts you in on the road towards the right relationship. The right family situation. The right career. However this resonates with you. Getting to your true self. Okay, I am now going to be using, um, and you'll see me reference this because I'm still learning these cards. But um, this is the um, Mildred um, Mildred Payne's Oracle. I have a pocket size, pocket, the mini size, and. They're, you can't shuffle them, so throw them in a bag and just... And I decided, well, I'm spending the money and getting a, a size deck that I can at least shuffle, right? But I'm, sometimes, you know, I still... I check the meanings until I really, really get to know the cards. Um, Mildred Payne, back in the very early 1900s, um, as a child, teenager, she created her own oracle, and she drew pictures, and these pictures are, are supposed to be representing what she drew, and she was a fortune teller. Okay, these are a little bit shadowy, that's why I kind of like them. Um, and I'm not trying to pick on you, Taurus. We all have shadow work that we are going to have to prepare ourselves. It's because Pluto is leaving Capricorn, stable Capricorn, and going into Aquarius. And as it does that, there are shitstorms happening, a lot of transformative energy, new age, new chapter. You know, you've heard of the age of Aquarius. Let me tell you. And there's there's things that are going to affect the world, us as a collective. So there's a lot of things going on. We all have shadows that we need to prepare ourselves for this Pluto transit. And Pluto's going to go retrograde again, go back in the cavern. And it's going to go back and forth. We got the comet, something coming in hot and heavy. That's like Tower, I think. Um... But I will, I'll probably look that up. We got the cat. It's almost like something's going to creep up on you, sneak up on you, then bam, slam. So you need to prepare yourself. If you don't make the changes, you're going to get the slam. Okay. 
Um, the comet is very fast moving energy and it burns shit up. And if it crashes into something, crashes into Earth, that's Tower. And then we've got the iceberg. How fitting. Hot. Oh, somebody who is clever. This is also feeling like that whether this is your energy or somebody that you are residing with or in a relationship with, we have somebody here who is very cunning and very maybe sneaky and secretive. But this is somebody here who wants left alone. They want the benefits of what you have to offer. But they, don't touch me. Don't come near me. Iceberg. The chills. Right? And, but, but they could be hot at the same time. There's a lot of passion behind that comment. And this could also be simply saying, somebody, they run hot and cold with you. Maybe that's why you keep sticking it in there. And when they start running hot, you're like, oh, we're on the right track. Boom, here comes the deep freeze. Um, let me take a look here. Comment is number 77. And the comment is disaster. There's the tower, honey. I said it was a tower. Turmoil catastrophic destruction war a bad omen that I said this common is destruction there's your tower your tower moment um, and then the cat which is number 22 a master number by the way it is a res it could be a resurrection an independent person um, it could also represent intuition or misfortune. I think that and I'm getting that thaw. Ice, then thaw. Ice, then thaw. Energy. But sometimes I think that this is trying to teach you to be independent. Um, I'm picking up on a very strong energy of codependency with somebody else and part of the lesson um, that I'm feeling could be learning to be you to do you to get to your authentic self your independent self and then the iceberg is Secret knowledge, life, increased awareness, wow, exalted power, obstacles, hidden emotions, self-exploration needed, problem may be bigger than you think. Okay, so there's some maybe, there's that isolation an independence there is a comet coming in it's probably going to force you to be on your own that my friend my Taurus is part of your lesson not being dependent on somebody and, it do, and I'm not talking about that it has to be financial dependence it could be emotional dependence as well Emotional dependence, feeling that you can't do without, that your whole emotional self, your identity is based on somebody else, being with somebody else. That's what you identify with. That's not independence. You lose your individuality that way and you become codependent with somebody else on an emotional level. But that iceberg. The common is coming in to break up that iceberg and remove your, these obstacles in your life.
but I'm going to leave you there. I have no idea how long this video is. Yours got pretty involved, and I'm not surprised because you're Earth. Earth is dense material, deep, and sometimes I'm an Earth sign too. I'm a Capricorn. Sometimes it's hard for us to express our emotions. I, I never used to be that way, but I have been as of late, past few years. Especially this past year, past six months even. Wanting to express my emotions, you just, you know, it's hard. And that's one of the lessons I have to learn. Anyhow, I love you, Taurus. And there is hope and healing in 2024. I just think that 2024 is going to be more self-focused. Aries had a similar message of being self-focused. Um, if you have, Aries, you may even have some strong Aries in your chart, or you may be dealing with an Aries. But there's, it's just I feel that this is about discovering who Taurus is. And this year is more focusing on yourself as an independent, as an individual. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, I love you. And your next reading will be maybe the January monthlies, unless I think of something else. Okay, until next time, love and light.